Okay, so our next motion is this the 64th IPSF General Assembly accepts NAPS Sierra Leone as a full member of IPSF and welcomes them to the Federation. I'll now give Sierra Le Leone, do we have technical and tech? Uh, yeah. Isaac Chikiati, Ghana. Um, I think the name of the association is not NAPS, it's NAPS SL. Okay, yep, we're fixing that. Yes. Give us just a second to get their presentation ready. We've also got Anna France, France Technical. Pierre Annette France. Pierre Annette France. Um, just uh, in the agenda, we had to to start with the application of Togo. Yes, right? uh, Togo. Uh, we don't have them online because we don't have. Yes. Okay. So. Published in 1993, after um, the Nigerian government decided to open a medical school in Sierra in 1989, and then few sets of students decided to start an association called the National Association of Pharmaceutical Students. Um, NAPS SL represents pharmacy students in Sierra Leone. Um, presently, there is only one pharmacy school in the country. We decided to name it National so that when other schools will be open, we don't need to go again back and forth to change the name. So like um, our predecessors, we are very wise to call it National Association of Pharmaceutical Students. And we represent 240 students presently who are members of um, NAPS SL. Um, the aims and objectives of NAPS SL, um, establishing permanent form of contact with pharmaceutical students in the country, and then also to motivate pharmaceutical science students in the country in order to promote effective and efficient networking, um, to capacitate pharmaceutical students in the various careers in the field of pharmacy, um, to help play a role in educating the public on the role of pharmacists, to help play a role in monitoring and evaluating the healthcare systems in the country, 
um, to uh, advocate for governmental and non-governmental organizations for support for to pharmacy students um, to promote and foster aspirations of students through facilitation of international mobility and student exchanges, and to work with other medical associations, both students owned and professional at national and international level. Um, the executive, the function of the executive is to manage the affairs of NAPS SL at all times, and um, they are accountable to the General Assembly. Um, two days from now, we'll be having our second General Assembly. Um, this is the executive, we have the president, the vice president, the secretary general, the assistant secretary general, we have treasurer, financial secretary, assistant financial secretary, chairperson of public relations, chairperson of public health, chairperson of disciplinary committee, chairperson of education committee, um, the IPSF contact person, and then the IPSF student exchange officer. There is one position that is missing, which is the media and publication, when we are trimming to have the um, the presentation for five minutes, I think it's, it, we skipped it. So media and publication is part of the executive. And how does NAPSSL change its mandate? Um, the association changes its mandate every year during the General Assembly. As I said, two, two, two days from now, we'll be having a General Assembly and campaigns are going on for students who are vying for various positions. And then the executive's office immediately after they're elected at the General Assembly, and then members of the executive shall serve, o shall serve only for one year and may be eligible for, one for elections up to two years. So if you are the president, you can't be president for three years, only two years, and then for positions. Um, why did NAPS SL decide to be full members of IPSF? Um, we want to be part of the global family of pharmacy students, to be part of the decision making in IPSF through voting rights at the General Assembly, since um, the General Assembly in Hyderabad, we have been sending students, we have been sending delegates, but we are not part of the decision making of IPSF. And we want to create networking opportunities with pharmacy students worldwide to create capacity building opportunities for its students through trainings and to in actively involve in IPSF regional symposiums and World Congress. We have been actively involved in most of the World Congress, Zimbabwe, India, and then Argentina, and also the symposiums in Ghana, Nigeria, WHS. We have been sending delegates for all of these symposiums and conferences. Um, how is NAPSSL planning to pay its membership fee? Um, every month, uh, members from NAPSSL pay monthly dues. We call it monthly membership subscription. It's like 5,000 leons, which is less than $1. And then also, we. We have projects that seek sponsors' interest and funds from organized activities. Um, is SNAPSSL planning to join the students exchange? Yes, um, we have updated our database, and then NAPSSL is open to receive students for, stu you know, for student exchange, and then we are planning to send students for student exchange. And also, in terms of delegates, we do look for dedicated members and recommend them to attend IPSF events. And NAPSSL support this delegate through fundraising activities. NAPS SL supported my trip because they did a lot of fundraising for me, for me to attend. Um, these are some of the activities that we have implemented. Every year we celebrate the World Pharmacy Day. We try to do pharmacy awareness to let the public, especially when we meet secondary school children, to educate them about the profession of pharmacy and then the different careers. And this is how we normally celebrate. And then also we held an antimicrobial campaign last um, November, in partnership with WHO and the Pharmacy Board of Sierra Leone, we visited secondary schools again. And then also the World Diabetes Day, um, we organized screening exercise. And so um, thank you all for your attention. Okay, uh, now I'll open the floor for questions for the uh, official delegate from NAPS SL Sierra Leone. In the back.
Uh, Joana, I'm from well, Portugal. Thank you so much for your presentation and for your application. I would like to ask you, what do you think uh, you are going to bring to IPSF and why it, it's, it's, it is an, an advantage for the Federation to count on your association? Thank you. Um, one of the things we are planning to bring in terms of um, IPSF activities, um, we have served um, in the regional subcommittee in Afro region and then we have implemented so many, we have brought so many ideas in terms of um, um, public health. And also recently for the symposium in Nigeria, one of our delegates was one of the moderators for the, um, um, the plenary session on innovation at um, the symposium. So like we have students who are there who are capable of bringing new in innovative ideas into IPSF. We have students who are there who can bring more public health campaigns and bring more innovative ideas into IPSF. Okay, uh, next is CPSA Croatia. Uh, Jelena, CPSA Croatia. Thank you so much for your presentation. I would like to have a question considering you mentioned monthly membership fees. Um, how does it work? Um, do, do you expect there might be a big fluctuation? of your monetary income, considering that you're not getting your fee paid for the whole year, uh, but just like per month. So theoretically, it can happen that you have a lot of um, members paying like for a couple of months, and then you receive no funding for a prolonged period of time because you have monthly instead of, for example, a yearly um, pay, um, membership payment. Thank you. Um, when we mean, what we mean by monthly, the month it goes for the year. Like for example, you start the payment January, February, March, April for the year, a, a minimum 5,000 liens. And so like every month you pay the minimum. If you have the money, you pay the 5,000 liens. There are some students who have the whole money, you can just pay the 60,000 liens for the year and then they are done with um, monthly, they are done with their um, subscription for NAPS SL. And the financial sector do monitor and then we have what we call the substitution cards that we give the students and when you pay, they sign on these subscription cards. And if you don't pay for your yearly, your yearly subscription, you can't take part in the General Assembly and Symposium as a student. Okay, uh, next, our next question comes from, from Anna France. Thank you very much for your presentation. I just have a question uh, regarding your statutes in the members in association. Uh, you said that um, uh, it's in page six. Uh, the organization having been granted membership in association shall receive its privilege at the next point on the agenda of the General Assembly if credentials have been presented. Can you elaborate a little bit about the credentials and the members in association and the full members you have? Okay, you're talking about association. Come yes. again, I didn't understand the question. Okay, I I am asking about the member in association in your uh, like in your association. Can you explain how uh, well like how do you have the difference between okay. the difference one okay. and what do you mean but uh, by the fact that the members in association and the full member uh, have to give you a credential for the General Assembly. Thank you. Um, when they were doing the Constitution, because at that time um, we were trying to meet the IPSF stand, what we meant by members in association, we have these associations who are pharmacy students owned and they want to actually affi affiliate with NAPS SL. We have associations like they maybe they are doing some other activities like we have, um, maybe there are some set of students who want to be engaged like um, we have what we call Friends for Nature. These are students who are actually advocating on environmental issues. Like for example, you all know that last year um, Sierra Leone faced in some um, environmental disaster. So these students, they are, they, they, they are there, they want to be, they want to affiliate themselves with NAPS SL. So these are some of the students we refer to, these are some of the associations like we refer to as our members that are in association with NAPS SL. Next, we have a direct comment from Lucas, life member in the back. Lucas, HLM Brazil. Uh, regarding this financial matter, I would like some clarification about how much is the full membership fee 
for uh, for our members for our members if they get uh, elected as full members. From what I know, is a very low uh, amount of money. Thank you. So your question is, what's the membership fee for full members? Is that for Sierra Leone? Yes. Roland is looking it up. Yeah. Uh, Lu Lucas, is it okay if we move on to the next question and then we'll get that from Roland when, when we have it? Okay. The next is from FF Portugal. Caterina, FF Portugal, I just have a question. You said that you represent 240 students, but are they students, are they recent graduates, uh, are they pharmacy students only? Thank you. Um, the, it's represent both the recent um, graduates and then pharmacy students. Um, the recent students are people we look at who show interest after graduation, like there are some since they were in school, they have passion for NAPS SLE when they graduate, you see them coming back again. There are some when they go, they don't come again. Up Austria. Comment withdrawn. Next is uh, LPSA Lebanon. Oh, we have a direct comment. This is so direct comment from CPSA Croatia. Yelena uh, CPSA Croatia. Um, okay. Um, my apologies. Drop. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, uh, next on the list is Chisosifida, Slovenia. Uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, you stated that you're going to um, send students to SEP, but are you also planning to have places in Sierra Leone for foreign students? Thank you. Um, talking about SEP, um, if you go through the IPSF website, you will see that our database has been updated. And so Sierra Leone is open to receive students for SEP in terms of clinic, um, community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, and um, um, administration pharmacy. Okay, next is LPSA Lebanon. Hello, uh, Ahmed Rawaini, LPSA Lebanon. Thank you for your great presentation. I have a question. Um, uh, we saw that uh, it was established in 1993. So why it did take so long for you to apply to IPSF since we know IPSF is already established years long, uh, earlier. So what were the main obstacles that um, made, made uh, NAPS Sierra Leone take so long to apply for IPSF full membership? Thank you. Um, when it was founded in 1993, it was a mix between both the medical and the the um, pharmacy student. And so it was later separated between the medical and pharmacy. And so at that time, between 1993 to 2000, there were only five pharmacy students. So when they graduated and they left school, the others that came, they did not have passion about NAPS SL. Until 2001 again, we have the first president called Thomas Conte, who started reviving the whole issue about NAPS. And then that is how it all started. And then the other president that started coming, and then we started um, knowing more about IPSF. We started sending students. And since we have known more about IPSF, every Congress we try to send students. And then we have been actively involved about it. And so at first, it was lack of information about IPSF. We, do, we did not know more. That's why we are not participating. When we started knowing, we started participating fully. Next is Capsi Canada. Um, Sophia Capsi Canada. <coughs> Thank you so much for your presentation. 
I just have one question regarding the um, National Executive um, Council of NAPSA SAL. Could you please explain the difference between a treasurer and a financial secretary? Thank you. Um, for us in our um, association, the financial secretary keeps record of all finances, collects the monies, and then hand over to the treasurer. The treasurer is a signatory to the account. The financial secretary is not a signatory to the account. The financial secretary is only responsible to keep records of finances. Next, we have number three, Anna France. Pierre Annette France. Um, I just want to have some details about your uh, activities. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, I just want to have some details about uh, your activities. Um, NAPS SL uh, school visitations. What is the purpose, the goal of the visitation? Thanks. Um, the country we are living in Sierra Leone, pharmacy profession is not that small. Even some of us, at first, we used to have pharmacies by chance and not by choice. And when you talk about pharmacy profession in Sierra Leone, we have a certain tribe that do business. Oh, this is not, it's them, not them full of money that they are peddlers. They always think about when you mention pharmacy profession, it's peddlers. So we do sc this school visitation to raise awareness about the pharmacy profession, to let them know the importance of pharmacy. Pharmacy is not what they think or what they have been told about this is pharmacy. So we do this school visitation to actually encourage students, especially science students who are in these secondary schools to come and choose pharmacy. We do it for World Pharmacy Day, Pharmacy Awareness Week, we visit these schools, and also for the Antibiotic Awareness Week. While we visit these schools, there is this norm that we have secondary school children, especially when they're on their messes, they misuse antibiotics. So we want to catch them young. So that's why we target them second we target the secondary school children. Okay, yeah. um, before we go on to the next speaker, I do have an answer to Lucas's question. The fee would be twenty seven euros. Next on our list is uh, CPSA Croatia. Oh, withdrawn. KNAPS, Republic of Korea. I'm in June from uh, KNAPS, Republic of Korea. Thank you for sharing your presentation. I, I have one question regarding a student exchange program. Uh, how many students are you going to expect to send and like accept for your uh, student exchange program if you become a full member? <coughs> like for now, um, since we started reviving the database and everything, Last year, we have students who showed interest, three students showed interest to go for student exchange, um, but they were actually carried away by wallet care student symposium. So no, I won't attend WHSS, so they move their phones to WHSS. So for now, we, we can only accept, like if you are coming, we'll accept five and then we are sending five students because we are starting. So we just want to know how student exchange works. We don't want to receive much students when we don't have more experience about student exchange. So we start small, and then when we get more experience, we start receiving th very large no amounts of students. Um, I'd just like to put out, put out that we have about 15 minutes left to before the break and we still will have to do closed discussion. So I'd like to get a show of emotion cards if we'd like to continue on with the speakers list. I believe we have four left on the speakers list. So green if you want to go on with the speakers list, red if you're ready to move to closed discussion. I'm seeing a lot of green so we'll, we'll keep on with the speakers list. The next is EPSF Egypt. Yeah, go ahead and stand up so they can find you. Nada, EPSF Egypt. Uh, I have a question regarding the situations being 
threatens the association, like uh, it is written here, a national crisis, administrative disruption, uh, or when the general students' membership in consultation with the disciplinary committee, and I don't know what is the actual job description of this committee, demand a new executive due to reasons valid to the welfare of the association. What does this really mean? It is in page 11 in the Constitution file. Okay. Can you repeat the question again, please? What does th this really mean? The national crisis, it is an under subtitle, uh, situations being threatens the association, administrative disruption of NAPS Sierra Leone, when the general students' membership in consultation with the disciplinary committee demand a new executive due to reasons valid to the welfare of the association. I think you're talking about the dis the dissolution of NAPS or so. Um, we all know um, Sierra Leone, we have been having some crisis. So like doing those, in part of that condition, like we add like um, some of these crises that do accept. Maybe those crises that do come will disrupt the activities of NAPS. For example, when we had Ebola, two years we were not going to school, so no activities was done. and. Um, at times when students do misbehave, the, the university will put a halt in some of these associations. Um, we use, at first, uh, for us, our university, they are quick to give ban to all students' activities. So for the past years, we don't have student union, but only NAPS and SLEMS that are the medical students, these are the two associations that we're operating. So like we, we, we thought it's fit to include it because these things do come. And also talk, talking about this like committee, it's when we do not have an executive, the discipline committee will be in charge until we have an executive that is set up. And next is <laughs> GPSA Ghana. Withdrawn. So KNPSV, the Netherlands. Withdrawn. Anna from France. Munya, Anne de France. I have a question regarding the Constitution. It's page 11. Um, e it's written that the president should be uh, in the top two senior classes. Uh, so if you don't have any candidate uh, that fits the criteria, what would you do? Um, I'd like to ask AJ to, our Secretary General, to answer this question. While we appreciate questions about the Constitution, I just want to let you know that before applications are brought to um, the General Assembly, they are vetted by the Exco to make sure that everything in the Constitution is in line with IPSS official documents and that everything is acceptable. And also, just to let you know, their Constitution hasn't, they're already members in association. So their constitution hasn't changed since they applied to be full members. Just clarification there. Yeah, we have a direct from Anna France. C'est Anna France. Thank you very, uh, thank you very much. As you know, we know that we already like revisited the con uh, the constitution, but we feel sometimes that it's not completely clear for us, uh, especially that like for me, I found some typo in the constitutions mentioning IPSF, IPSF, IPSF in different things when they are supposed to mention maps dot sl. So uh, I just want to say that if we have some questions about the constitution, is that we really don't feel comfortable with it. Thank you. The question concerning two top senior classes, why we decided to let it be in the condition like we have the final fourth year and fifth year, these are the students that we think they are the senior students and they have responsibility to take up NAP. I, I think there's always a room that most of them have got the passion, so it will not be easy for us to have for two classes, nobody showing interest for presidency. We have worked that, we know that those two senior classes, they always intend to be president. Even now, as I'm speaking for the GA, they sent four students 
from these two classes who wants to be president. Okay, next is FF Portugal. Adrian, FF Portugal. Uh, thank you for your motivation. Um, you are applying to full member. Uh, if you reach that, uh, your association can afford the representation at the IPSCF events, next IPSCF events. Thank you. Yes, our association can afford. Since members, we have sent students to India, um, Zimbabwe, and then we had WHSS and our regional symposiums. We had Nigeria, Ghana, and then we are going to send students to both Uganda and Kigali. Okay, that's the, the end of our speakers list. Uh, was, is there, are there any more comments? Seeing none, uh, I'd like to thank, thank the uh, presenter and now we'll <laughs> yes. And now we'll be moving to closed discussion. So I'd ask everyone to please close your laptops, turn off your phones. Yes, we need the live stream.
good? Okay. Yes, cl closed discussion is over. We're just waiting for the delegates to come back in. And I would like to, to welcome NAPS SL as the newest full member of, the, of IPSF. Um, good afternoon again. Um, on behalf of NAPS SL, the newest full members of IPSF, I want to say thank you all for believing in us and we are going to walk towards the IPSF spirit. Thank you all. Okay, um, so at, thi at this time, it's time for a coffee break. So the chair would like to, will now entertain a motion for a recess. Do I have a motion to recess for a coffee break? I saw Isma Farsi, Indonesia. Do I have a second? Afap Austria, seconds. Okay, all, all in favor of of a recess, please raise your please raise your voting cards. Straight arms, please. Okay. And all opposed. All opposed, please raise your voting cards. And any abstentions? Okay. Uh, please stay at your seats for the roll call to collect your voting cards and your envelopes. Make sure before you leave your table, we have to get
get your secret ballot envelopes as well. Um, and, and guys, before uh, before you go to break, I just want to say that Germany, BBHG Germany, and uh, CPS de Croatia, you guys owe me uh, each a hundred. Um, so enjoy your break because you guys just paid for your coffee. So. <laughs>
Okay, um, everyone, please, please take your seats. Please stop your conversations. Please take your seats immediately. In the back there, back to your seats. Everyone take your seats. Please take your seats. And I, uh, bef before we go to the roll call, I'd like to pass the floor to Petra for a special announcement. Can you hear me? Okay, amazing. Today is a special day of one of the EXCO members. So, <laughs> we have our Matthew Hung, um, chairperson of Pan American Regional Office, uh, has his birthday today. So we would like to sing uh, to him, all the GA, if you're okay with that. So, one, yeah, we can do that as well. So let's start. Um, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matthew. Happy birthday to you. you all the best. We all wish you all the best and enjoy with the GA Okay, and uh, be before we, shh, just a second. Um, before we do the roll call, I'd like to remind, remind everyone, especially those uh, delegates seated at the back, please minimize entering and leaving the room. It does disrupt the, the GA. Also, please refrain from having any discussions during the GA. Thank you. Now I'll, I'll pass the floor to AJ for the roll call.
It appears we've got some new, new arrivals from Finland. We only have two official delegates registered from Finland. Hold on. Do you have free tickets? No, they don't have free tickets. Okay, yes. Okay. We do have three. We're, we're, we're just getting the secret ballots for Sierra Leone. You will have those. And uh, at this time, I'd, I'll entertain a motion to, to resume discussions. Uh, FF Austria, and second. Uh, GPSA Ghana. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're still waiting for uh, proof of payment from Uganda, so we'll be bypassing them. So the next motion, is this the 64th IPSF General Assembly accept, accepts Apafib Peru as a full member of IPSF and welcomes them to the Federation? So I'd like to invite uh, the presenter from Apafib Peru. Okay, uh, you'll have five minutes to make your presentation. Okay. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eri Goya from APEFIP, Peru. And I also want to thank all for this opportunity from sharing my association. Uh, my association is Peruvian Association of, of Students of Pharmacy and Biochemistry, APEFIP. You have a technical in the back. Jean, I for Portugal. S sorry for interrupting you. I know it's not actually possible to solve that and you are doing the best, but here, in the back, we cannot hear a thing, sorry. Thank you so much. Got, got another technical in the back. 
uh, Jacinta, I have for Portugal, so as Juan was saying, uh, maybe you uh, could speak uh, closer to the microphone okay. or something because here it's really difficult to hear. Yeah. And sorry again for interrupting you. Thank also you. So yes, like we, we can hear the, the rain at the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you tr if you try cupping your hands, that might also <laughs> help a little bit. It's uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't fix, fix the rain. So. Okay, so how, okay. So, when was it established? Uh, APFIT was founded in 2015 as IFSM, a local association that wanted to promote the professional development of a students of public, uh, uh, public and pri private pharmacy and biochemistry Peruvian schools. And in addition to uh, addressing issues related to public health, the pharmaceutical knowledge, and creating links with the students' associations around the world through their membership in the IPSF. For this reason, needed to re reach a national level. The proposal was presented in Peruvian Scientific Congress at National Congress in Peru in 2015 in the context of the need to represent Peru as a national association and the representative of each school accepted the proposal and decided to call it a Pharmacy and Biochemistry Students Peruvian Association that's as a national level. So how does it represent? We are Pharmacy and Biochemistry uh, students and also recent graduates up to four years uh, after graduation. And also how many members does, does it represent? We are. Uh, 823 and for each university and also we have individual members for more for more uh, schools and what are the values and aims of the association the first one is to promote the organization of the different lines of work both on national level and at the affiliates which focus efforts are articulated of the purpose of our associations uh, to participate through its as associates in the organizational structure of the International Pharmaceutical Student Federation for making decisions on projects uh, to promote the, the health of the world's population. Uh, the third one is to participate in the student's exchange and abroad events that promote IPSF with the aim of acquiring experience and knowing immersed realities on the pharmaceutical profession in the region and the world, and to organize local and national academic events like our national uh, our national congress that called Congreso Nacional Peruano de Estudiantes de Farmacia Bioquímica, seminars, courses, workshops that achieve complementary education and others that are up to date on issues that are at the forefront of work scientific and academic advancement and to promote the social awareness and also to uh, stimulate and to promote the different skills and abilities of each student creating human capital which is represented by pharmacists. So what are the values of the associations? Uh, we, our values is just friendship, commitment, communication, and critical experience to confront the purpose that seek organization for welfare of our career and the popul population in general. And the main activity of APFIP uh, are on the pharmaceutical education level. We have our national congress that has three years and also a scientific, uh, a scientific festival of students, pharmacy and biochemistry, uh, research contests, poster competitions, and educational conferences about pharmaceutical actualizations. Also, I, we have professional development level that it concerns LIT, LIT, like LIT, and also a national we also want to promote uh, national camps. Uh, we, we are thinking to start in SEPS this year, September this year. And also in the public health uh, level, we have health promotion by sport tournaments, 
uh, anti counterfeit drug campaigns. Also, we participate in va Vampire Cup, and last year we won the Live Vampire Cup, an annual campaign that's like in Christmas campaign. Um, okay, uh, how we, is it organized? Uh, we have the national board and subcommittees. Uh, how does the FFIP change its Monday is yearly. And also we decide to, to become a full member because we uh, achieve the, well, we achieve the national level and also we know um, decide because we became, uh, we managed to, to bring together the different point of view of the pharmacy uh, students and believe that we are ready to present, represent Peru. That's the end of, our, of the time. So at this time, I'd like to open the floor for questions. If you give me just a second to get back into the regular screen. Okay, so, so our first speaker is AFAP Austria. Jelena, AFAP Austria. Um, can I propose please to um, finish the presentation because we don't have Wi-Fi and we couldn't see the presentation properly. So can we please have her presentation finish? So thank you. So would you, would you like to give one more minute, approximately? Two more minutes, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, got a motion for two minutes. Do I have a second? Uh, APSF Egypt, I saw the card come up first. So we'll give two more minutes. And we planning to pay our membership fee uh, because um, through merchandising and organizing a sport championships. And in the future, we are planning to, uh, as soon as we have the legal constitution of the association, which is in process, we will be al able to organize courses with fee, so we can pay the membership fee with that. And also we are going to incorporate part of the FFE membership fee to this payment. And we are looking, oh. actually we are just uh, receive 10 students in SEP. So we are uh, encourage people, encourage students to go out from Peru and how the SAPFI plans to send an official delegate just after three years of promoting and um, um, empowerment students nationwide. We have been able to make students aware that student representation is very important and we have a financing plan for both membership and for representation expenses. And also we believe that with our hard work, we will achieve a strategic partners for financing support. So it's all, thank you. Okay, now getting back to the speakers list, just a second, this microphone is trying to turn on me.
Okay. So, uh, next question. We got CPSA Croatia. Uh, Jelena, CPSA Croatia. Thank you very much for your uh, presentation and your application. Um, considering you're also representing biochemistry students as well, uh, I would, if I understood correctly from your presentation, uh, I would like to know: Are the activities that your uh, association do is it equally um, does it equally involve pharmacy and uh, chemistry biochemistry students as well, or do you have separate projects? How is it implemented in your association? Thank you. Thank you for the question. And in Peru and like uh, several countries in Latin America, is the career name is like pharmacy and biochemistry, but all are pharmacies. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, next we have GPSA Ghana. Okay. Withdraw. <laughs> What's that? Oh, so, yes, we, so you finished? So, yes, oh, with <laughs> comment is withdrawn. Uh, next is SAPSF South Africa. S stand up so she can find you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The name is Tulani Mota, SAPSF South Africa. Um, I believe Croatia asked about the activities. I just want more clarity on that. And also, I'd just like to ask, um, is there, do you guys have a, a, a country association for pharmacists that ca like a mother body that can help you uh, in terms of your own association? Like us in South Africa, we have the Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa. So I'd just like to know in your country, is there an, an association that you guys can affiliate with that can also be involved in, in helping you grow your association and support you? Like a professional <laughs> association? Yes. Yeah, actually, we also have the letter recommendation from this uh, pharmacy professional association that support us from all our activities and, and also like association as such. Next is from Asa Peru. Peru. Hi, my name is Cesar from Asa Peru. Uh, I don't speak English very well. I need to translate this. Uh, I speak Spanish. Uh, hola, uh, soy de la asociación Asa Peru, la más antigua de Perú, 29 años de creación. Quería saber qué vas a hacer con una asociación como nosotros, que tenemos casi la misma cantidad de miembros. Eh, tenemos representación también en varias facultades y tenemos la aceptación del Colegio de Profesionales de Químicos Farmacéuticos del Perú. Llevé una carta para el Congreso de Taiwán y pues, pues esa es mi pregunta, ¿cierto? Que tú pides la, la full member, en este caso nosotros también tenemos representación en Perú. Uh, I'll pass the floor to Matthew Hung, the, uh, chairperson of the Pan American Regional Office for Translation. Uh, Matthew Hung Exco, so to translate, uh, it's Caesar from SF Peru. Uh, he says he's from the uh, an, an association in Peru that has 29 years of existence in Peru, and he's asking Eddie, uh, what, how is she going to do with when there is another association in the country who represents also pharmacy students? Thank you. Okay, mm, okay we have just three years, and we grow uh, grow up like very faster and we are like very active association and maybe we can compare if, if you want you, you can compare because actually I really know that we are we have more like more activity uh, more uh, members in in our association, actually, in, in the letter recommendation, maybe we can share with them the, the letter recommendation for the pharmacy professional college, because the, there is a point that that said about the APFIP is the bigger and uh, the have more students in like members, so. Uh, 
just for clarification, that letter is in the folder. Uh, so if we had Wi-Fi, you'd be able to look at it. <laughs> uh, next on the list is CAPC Canada. I'm Sophia, CAPC Canada. Thank you so much for your presentation. I actually just wanted to ask clarification. Have you already started SAP, or do you plan to start it this year? No. We just already uh, started SAP just when, uh, when we start, or when, when we become um, a member in association, we start the uh, SAP. And actually, we have, until today, we have 10 uh, students that we receive, have received. But we have not uh, students that go 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 out. Yeah. And next next we have LPSA Lebanon. This is Ahmad from LPSA Lebanon. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, you were talking about the um, number of. Uh, students in each university you represent and then you mentioned at the, at the end of that slide um, that there are also additional individual members so um, what's the difference in the privileges of these individual members versus those members who are affiliated with these universities in terms of voting rights at, the, at uh, your GA maybe membership fees when you will develop this uh, program thank mm -hmm. you okay we have a um, the the members in that university and in that university we have like a board a local board and they can vote with, with when we have the national congress but the individual members just can like like a member in association just uh, can make a comment but no, don't can can't vote and also, the payment is the same. The, the fee is the same. And just and next we have Nzapso, New Zealand. Go ahead and stand up when I ca when I call your association, so we can find you at the microphone. Uh, Ruby, Nzapso, New Zealand. Uh, thank you for your pre um, presentation. You mentioned that you have yet to complete your legal constitution. Um, so I just have a question about that. Could you please tell us when you're expecting to complete that and implement that in your association and when you'll be expecting to start receiving income from your members? Thank you. Okay. Actually, we are in process for the legal documentation because it's a little expensive. It's like one, like it's like eight hundred dollars for the constitution. So we are looking for the the money to pay that. Uh, we are planning to to have that constitution in the end of of September. So maybe in the in the end of the year we can. Um, make money with with the courses and some uh, some activities we can do with the legal documentation we have a direct comment just a second uh sweden game peace sweden netherlands i was wondering how is this uh, regulated within IPSF, becoming a full member without officially being an association. Thank you.
pass the floor to uh, Sebastian for clarification. Sebastian, IPSF Chairperson of Internal Relations. Peru is officially an uh, association in Peru. It's just um, the letter of um, getting membership fee and making money. So they are considered as association and supported by the National um, Pharmacy Su Students Association, Pharmacy, National Pharmacy Association, but they still need um, the paper for uh, yeah, make business with, with this association. So they are f legally at the moment. Clarification from KNPS. So if I understand it correctly, they do have a legalized constitution. They just have to change it and it costs a lot of money. Okay, thank you. Then it's all clear. Next on the list, we have KNPSV, the Netherlands. Uh, Seren, KNPSV, the Netherlands. I would like to propose a motion to close the floor for discussion. Thank you. Yes. A as we have already had five speakers, we are we we can't we can vote on that. So uh, I need a second on the motion to close the floor. Uh, FAP Austria. Okay. <coughs> and now at this time. We'll be voting on closing, closing the floor and moving to closed discussion. Uh, so all those against closing the floor and moving to closed discussion, please raise your voting cards. The, okay, These, th this is p voting against, against ending discussion. So if you, were, if you want to continue with discussion, please raise your voting card high. Okay, lower your voting cards, please. All those in favor of closing discussion, or of closing discussion and moving to a closed discussion. <coughs> and please, please make sure that the voting card faces towards the front, not the white back. We need to see the front of the voting cards. So we have 44 votes, and I'd like to remind you this is a procedural motion, so everyone must vote. There's no abstaining in procedural motions. So once again, all those, all those in opposed to closing the floor, who, all those who want to continue discussion, please raise your voting cards high. Okay, please lower your voting cards. And those in favor of <laughs> e ending debate, please raise your voting cards high. Okay, so uh, we will continue with discussion. So next on the list. Uh, 
Is that is that another comment from KSP KNPSB the Netherlands? That's this that's still the same one. Okay. The next is from Efra Argentina. Oh, sorry. Asaf Peru. They changed between when I looked back. Repito con el mismo tema. Eh en Perú Eh, somos aproximadamente entre 6.000 a 8.000 estudiantes de farmacia en 25 escuelas de farmacia. En Perú, we have approximately eh, 6 or 8,000 pharmacy students in 25 eh, pharmacy schools. But, eh, pero ninguna asociación de las dos tiene ni siquiera el 1% de representación. Matthew Hung, Paro Chairperson for a translation. Matthew Hung, Chairperson of the IPSF Pan American Regional Office. Uh, so his final comment was that neither of the two associations, according to him, uh, represent a significant percentage of the total number of pharmacy students in their country. Thank you. Okay, we actually, we are like 22,000 students. And also we have our association are in like eight in schools and also five more schools that are individual members. So we have like members in more associate, more schools and and also repre representative of APFP from more schools, so. Okay. Uh, I'd like to pass the floor to the Secretary General, AJ, for clarification from the official documents. AJ, IPSF Secretary General, I just wanted to point out Article 6 of the IPSF Constitution. Um, definition of full members, full membership shall be granted to any one nationally representative organization that mainly represents the greatest number of individuals who comply with the point six point one point three of the Constitution um, and six point one point three is definition of um, individual members, so pharmacy and pharmaceutical science students and recent graduates. So it's the number of individuals. And now, Efra, Argentina. Juan, a Efra, Argentina. Más allá de los comentarios, eh, yo creo que dos asociaciones pueden convivir tranquilamente. Eh, pasa en Portugal, pasa en España, así que creo que eh, no habría problema que una, eh, justamente una, una de las asociaciones pueda aplicar para ser full member. Así que, eh, más allá de las, eh, de, los, de las cuestiones que se han hablado recién, eh, la pregunta va para Eri. Y me gustaría saber, Eri, eh, por qué, eh, además de lo que has explicado ahí sobre tu aplicación a ser full member, por qué APFIP debe, debe ser full member, pero eh, en relación con IPCF, porque nosotros buscamos la, el beneficio, sería del estudiante de farmacia, más allá de, eh, de, otras, de otras cuestiones. Gracias. I'll now pass the floor to Matthew for a translation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Matthew Hung, chairperson of the IPSF Pan American Regional Office. Uh, so if I remember exactly what Juani said, um, he said that two associations uh, can sort of exist. They went through Portugal, they went through uh, Spain, but his main question for Eddie is, uh, why is APFIP applying for full membership uh, when IPSF is there to unite pharmacy students more than uh, one's own single uh, association? Thank you. Mm. Okay, because we really try, we really has working uh, hard to make a lot of ev activities and events and we really encourage students to believe that IPSF have a lot of opportunities to develop students, uh, students and 
also in academic and also extracurricular activities. So we really, really work hard during these three years. We just travel a lot of like national wide to to promote IPSF uh, and <coughs> also we are encourage encouraging people or students to become like uh, like IPSF board or part of the regional or uh, international uh, board or support. So I think it's because we like work work hard to 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 become or become bigger in IPSF. Okay, at, at this point, uh, I've been notified that they're actually holding the buses for us, and uh, they can't really hold them forever, so I'd like, I'd like to uh, like see if there's an, a motion to close the, you know, to end discussion and move to close discussion at this time. I saw GPS say Ghana. Uh, second, FAP, Austria. So. All those opposed to ending discussion, please raise your voting cards. All those opposed to ending discussion. Against, yes, all those, all those <laughs> against ending discussion, please raise your voting cards at this time. Okay, and all those in favor of ending discussion, moving to close discussion. Okay, that, that's a clear majority, so we, at this time we'll now end open discussion, please. We're gonna move to close discussion, so laptops, please close your laptops, please turn off your phones, flip them down. Uh, please turn off the live stream. And we, we need to ask all, all members of FFIB Peru to uh, please leave the room.
discussion, please raise your voting cards now. Uh, Sid Anne France, and I also please, uh, as you saw, we just wasted already yeah. 30 minutes because, like, some people really want to ask this question before the, the beginning of the closed discussion. So please don't cut us and yes. let us just ask our questions because they are relevant yes. questions. Thank you. We have a direct comment from KS KNPSV Netherlands. Sid and KNPSV Netherlands. I think we can have discussion on procedural motions, so if you do, please put it there in the uh, discussion on the procedural motion, like, I have a big issue with this and I would like to address a question about it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Anna France. Okay. Uh, Sid Anne France. Uh, yes, I completely agree with you, but <coughs> unfortunately, we didn't have the yeah. uh, like the chance, and no one asked if someone wants like to um, ha like have any point uh, to discuss on the procedural motion. Okay. So, thank you. And uh, at this time, as we're as the buses have been holding for us, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn for the day. We'll reconvene at our next scheduled time. Uh, KNPSV the Netherlands, seconded by uh, FEFSA Romania. All, all those in favor of. Oh, yes. Uh, there is a comment down there. Got a, comment, got a comment in the back. Just, just in time for Portugal, shouldn't we at least call them and let them know what is happening? Yes. Well, Okay. Yes, we'll we'll let them know. We, we um, we'll have someone get them while we're doing the roll call. Yes. Like okay. Okay. Thank you. So, Jorge, can you? Okay. Yep.